Hey guys, I'm back and I've been doing a lot of research on potassium, so I wanted to create this video. It's actually quite interesting. This topic relates to how potassium affects your muscle strength and your exercise endurance, okay? I wanna give you a little background, but I'm gonna make it as simple as possible. You have these little tiny pumps on your cells, on the membrane of the cells. You have billions of them. They're called the sodium potassium pump. They're a little tiny protein molecule that have enzyme activity, and you have billions of them, and they work 24 seven. And the name of the entire structure is uh, sodium potassium ATPase. The ACE is an enzyme, and the ACE basically splits up this uh, energy currency, the ATP, so it can have energy to do its job. 30% of all of your energy in your body is allocated to these tiny pumps. Now, what do they do? All they do, is they push out sodium and pushing in potassium. So they push out 24,000 sodium ions and they push in 16,000 potassium ions. Now, if you do the math, there's a difference of 8,000. So that difference is very, very important because that difference makes the inside of the cell more negative than the outside and it creates a little voltage. So basically, this pump turns a cell into a battery to allow muscles to do their work through the nervous system. So if you've ever taken a biochemistry class and not sure how it worked, I hope I explained this in a real simple way. Now, if this pump is not working, you're gonna feel it in your strength. You're gonna feel weaker and you're definitely not gonna have the endurance. And there's several things that can influence that. Number one, low potassium in your diet. Uh, you don't get enough potassium, you don't eat enough vegetables, you just, you don't have enough potassium in general. Now it could be you have you know, vomiting, diarrhea, um, excessive laxatives, something like that where it's depleting uh, potassium. But also training. The more you exercise, the more of these you develop. The more inactive you are, the less of these you're gonna have in your muscles. And by the way, the biggest concentration of these pumps are in the skeletal muscle. Now, if you have insulin resistance because you're pre-diabetic or diabetic, um, that can limit these as well. Also, if your thyroid is low, you won't have enough of those pumps. If you have low magnesium, you need magnesium for potassium to work, you're gonna, it's gonna affect these pumps. If you have kidney damage, that can affect the pumps. If you're on diuretics, it'll deplete you of potassium. If you drink too much coffee, two to three cups per day, that will definitely deplete your potassium. And lastly, if you are experiencing too much stress and you have too much cortisol, that will also create a potassium deficiency and affect these pumps. So as an experiment, if you're exercising now, go ahead and increase the amount of potassium in your diet and just observe the difference in your strength and your exercise endurance. Thanks for watching.